Well, you know it's going to be a good day when you come out and the lift is just there waiting on you. That never happens. <laughs> Let's go. I totally love getting to Starbucks before 7 o'clock. Look how deserted the place is. You just get it out yourself. It's amazing. So yesterday we did the, the vlog on planning and I was saying how I was dividing my day up into kind of styles of work instead of actual tasks. This is my favourite part of the day. This is 6am. 9pm in my diary, although I'll allow myself to be late sometimes, like if I've been working late. So today I didn't start till like 20 past 7. And during this time I check all the social media um, output from yesterday. I look through the snap stories with influential and motivational people that I follow. I have a plan of what I'm going to put on Instagram and Twitter for the day. I spend time checking emails, planning for the day, making sure I'm prepared for any meetings that go out, and eating breakfast, and sitting in amazing surroundings watching the boats. It's really a good day to start my day with something so inspirational and motivational. And I'm doing all this before the UK is even awake, because I'm two hours ahead. So even by 9 o'clock, still only 7am. Um, minor correction there. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I meant three hours doing social media and planning. Not 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Not 15 hours. Jesus. Oh, what another totally busy day. So the theme of yesterday was planning. The theme of today is teamwork. I've got my team in all corners of Kuwait right now trying to plan for tomorrow. And I've also got a team on the ground in the UK helping promote all the social media. I could never do this myself. Like in the early days, you do do it yourself and you kind of struggle. So as soon as you can, please get a team around you. It makes all the difference in the world and it makes it more fun. You know, I'm on chats just now with the team organising charity events and it's great. And genuinely, I couldn't do it without them. So all of this running about, craziness, mentalness, early starts, late finishes, all leading up to one thing. And it's so much better to share that journey with the team because then you can share the success with the team. I mean, they're not coming to New York, but they can celebrate with me. <laughs> Plans for the open house are going well. It's apparently snowing in Glasgow, so the team have taken a photo of the snow outside. I'm going to go and beat it with a photo of the sun. <laughs> so, yeah, you heard that right. I'm actually taking time out of a crazy busy day just to get one up on the Glasgow team. Is that bad management? Nah. I've been trying to get geofilters for our event and use them as a kind of, like, you know, marketing tool for the open house. And poor Blair was sat up till about 10 o'clock trying to get one last night. Get them in Kuwait. So geo filters that don't apply in all locations. Thanks, Snapchat. I mean, I was really looking forward to that. Still be good though. Okay, so my job tonight is to get all the properties ready for the open house. This is it before dressing. We'll show you after. And at the same time as that, I've actually got to move flat because I'm staying in one that we want to use as a show home. So I'm doing a flat. And this is the one I'm moving into. This was always the plan anyway, so it's fine. It's just speeded it up a wee bit. So get this one ready, get the other ones ready, good to go. 